Hello and welcome to my presentation on comma usage. Let's get started. Use a comma to separate a series or group of words. For example, Tim arrived at the airport, comma, waited in line, comma, checked his baggage and walked down the concourse to the plane. These are a series of actions. In a list of items, putting a comma before the conjunction and is optional. Sheila placed the order for magazines, newspapers, and cookbooks. No comma before and. Sheila placed the order for magazines, newspapers, comma, and cookbooks. Use a comma after an introductory word, phrase, or clause, which can appear at the beginning or end of a sentence. To avoid getting a parking ticket, comma, Linda paid the meter. Martin only needed one thing, comma, confidence. Use a comma after the day and calendar year when including the month and date. Anna will arrive on September 9th, comma, 2013, comma, for the training session. No comma is necessary following the month and year. Anna will arrive in September 2013 for the training session. No comma needed here. Use a comma to separate two or more adjectives that describe a noun. For example, the applicant was professional, knowledgeable, and experienced in the area of accounting. Texas is a hot, dry state. When directly addressing someone in the body of your document, enclose their name in commas. Thank you, comma, Wayne, comma, for responding so quickly to my request. The manager is counting on you, comma, Ms. Harris, comma, to process the order this week. Use commas to enclose parenthetical words, phrases, or clauses. The additional supply order, comma, however, comma, will not ship until early tomorrow. Miss Melanie Temple, comma, our new association chapter president, comma, will be introduced at our next monthly meeting. Notice the phrase, our new association chapter president is an appositive. An appositive describes the subject, Miss Melanie Temple, in more detail and is surrounded by commas, meaning there is a comma to introduce the phrase and to close the phrase. Use a comma before conjunctions when joining sentences. There are two job openings in the English department, comma, and I know you will get one of them. Now, a comma before and is not necessary in a series of items, but when you are joining two separate parts of a sentence, as in this example, then a comma is necessary before the and. Teresa and Carrie would like to attend the Zumba conference, comma, but cannot afford the expensive fees. So when conjunctions are functioning to join two parts of a sentence, sentence, always put a comma before the conjunction. In summary, always consult a current grammar handbook or a dictionary for rules on commas and other punctuation usage such as commas, semicolons, colons, apostrophes, parentheses, dashes, and quotation marks. Thank you so much for viewing this presentation. Hopefully it has been helpful to you and happy learning.